This one's going to get the Tumblr girls excited. So, in Norse mythology, there's a lot of weird stories, like I said in the Fenrir episode. Today we're going to cover one of my favourites, the story of how Njord and Skadi came to be married, but I prefer to call it the story of how Loki tied his balls to a goat's beard. So how did we get to this point, where Tom Hiddleston's nuts are attached to the goat of a beard? Well, it all starts with the kidnapping of Aiden by Loki and the Jotun Thiazi. Loki told Aiden there was a forest where the most beautiful and marvellous fruit grew. Aiden then follows Loki to the forest, where Thiazi, in his eagle form, snapped up Aiden and took her away to Thrynheim, Thunderhome. With Aiden gone, the gods begin to age and wrinkle. Realising that Loki was the last to be seen with her, they interrogate him, and he spills the beans. Hey baby, I have a secret. What? Oh, you want me to spill the beans? Yeah, sure. Dad, what are you doing? Loki is made to go and retrieve her. Freya lends him her falcon form, and he heads to the giant's home. Seeing that the giant is not home, he transforms Aiden into a nut and carries her away. Upon returning, Thiazi realises Aiden is gone and sees Loki carrying her away at rapid speed. He pursues them at an even faster speed. Gotta go fast. By the time Loki is in sight of Asgard, the giant was right behind him. The other gods seeing this build a great mound of kindling. As soon as Loki passes over the kindling and is safe, the gods ignite it. Thiazi, flying too fast to change direction, is burned up and killed. The gods celebrate Aiden's return and their rejuvenation into their youthful selves. During this party, the giantess Skadi storms in covered in armour and armed to the teeth with weapons. She has come to avenge her father. The gods, being patient with her, convince her to accept reparations instead of seeking revenge. The first was that her father's eyes be turned into stars by Odin. Next, they were to make her laugh. And here we are. We've arrived. This is the moment. Loki's time to shine. Loki fetches a rope and ties one end of the rope to the goat's beard and the other end to his testicles. And this was indeed the mightiest of battles. Each side would give no quarter. The mighty beast bleated and pulled with all its might, and Loki screamed, and using all his strength he struggled, but alas, the mighty goat was too strong, and with one final heave Loki gave out and fell upon Skadi. Skadi laughed and the second reparation was paid. The third reparation was that she could marry any god of her choosing, but she could only see the god's legs and feet. She chose the fairest feet, thinking that they were boulders. But when the gods were revealed, they were revealed to be Nords, and so they were to be wed. After their marriage, they tried to live in each other's homes, but neither could stand to be in either's. And so they parted ways. Now, for some reason, this hasn't had a great influence on pop culture. I feel that it would make a great Marvel movie for a start. Like, it is an amazing battle, as I described. Like, wouldn't you love to just watch Tom Hiddleston warring against the mightiest of all the world's creatures? God, there's some people out there with some weird kinks. I think I might be one of them. And that's the story of the marriage of Njord and Skadi. Or more importantly, the story of how Loki's balls became attached to a goat. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell. And if you feel like it, leave a comment below with any suggestions or comments. And I'll see you next week, babies.